we see here a relic from a lost civilization, the payphone, a useful device used by pre-internet tribes in the United States in order to communicate with one another over vast distances. Uh, and you will note the large and unnecessarily clunky metal exterior demonstrating uh, a comparatively advanced level of metalwork possessed by the primitive Americans uh, at the time. And of course, uh, at this point, we're talking about, in all likelihood, the mid to late 20th century, which, as we all know, was one of the most barbaric and primitive times in world history. Um, now, as you can see, uh, there is this special horn device, probably produced uh, from some sort of animal product, uh, which was placed against the head uh, of the user, often a high priest of some sort. Um, it is connected to the main command module here, as you can see, uh, and then currency will be placed in it uh, to appease the gods of the machine uh, in order to allow a point-to-point -point communication. Uh, now, of course, as we're all aware, and as modern science has demonstrated, these, of course, do not work. Um, but it's very interesting to note that there was such a fundamental aspect of civilized life that even in this, a conveyance location, you could find one of these mystical devices used for regular worship and prayer and communion with gods uh, in this otherwise business-like location. And now, let's go see an iron horse.